Oh my God. So I'm watching, um, I don't know what this is on Investigation Discovery, but the, the woman was having, she's, I believe she's having an affair with this guy. And um, one night her husband wakes up because he smells cigarette smoke in his house. And, um, and, and then when he wakes up, his wife, his wife is not in the bed. And, um, and then he sees like someone, uh, like, you know, a dark shadow of someone coming into their bedroom. And then the person starts stabbing him with the knife. And then he finally like, you know, you know, really wakes up and he's like fighting the guy off. And the guy's like stabbing him. He grabs a knife and with his hand and he gets cut in his, um, hand like really bad because he grabbed the blade uh, but in the middle of the struggle his wife runs so she wasn't in the bedroom during most of the fight all of a sudden his wife appears in the doorway with uh, a baseball bat but she's just standing up there and not really swinging um, at anybody apparently she's in shock um, but somehow she woke up in time before her husband to get her and her baby to get the baby out, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that worked out. Cause I was like, "Are you up?" And you get the baby out. But anyway, the husband chases the guy out um, through the garage, and when he opens the garage door and presses the button to uh, so that the garage door comes up, and he said that I guess there was like an exterior door into the garage, and. And so when he opens up the garage door, the light in the garage comes on with the switch. And then this dude, you know, that came in, comes out with the knife through the garage, the, you know, that door, and is about ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And because there's a light on in the garage, he sees the guy, and he recognizes the guy. The guy is an organist at the church. He's the choir director. And uh, apparently before that, his wife was spending a lot of time at choir practice and coming home late and stuff. Um, so obviously she's having an affair with this, the choir director. And, um, <laughs> and I guess she had this dude to kill her husband. Like, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I'm like, you had this man to kill, trying to kill your husband. But... The choir director is out here being a hired hitman. Uh, but I'm just waiting on the details. I already know she's lying, but I'm waiting until the final, um, the final, you know, when they reveal everything at the end. But this is crazy. It's like, I was like, girl, the choir director, he's out now he's killing people. And um, she had the nerve to tell her husband when the husband asked her if she was, um, you know, like cheating on him with the dude. She was like, don't you think if, if I was going to cheat on you, I would get somebody better looking than him? And I'm like, you know, that that don't matter. She She's still getting it in. Um, and I was like, oh, I know she lying. I know she lying. So... <laughs> Um, but that, that really got me because I was like, I, I knew that, you know, she had somebody that was attacking her husband, but I didn't realize because I was half listening to this and I didn't realize that the guy was the church choir director. He's singing about the Lord, sleeping with somebody else's wife and to make it even worse, then he's like, well, I'm going to kill your husband so we can be together. What? What?